Here we are at the Maple Leaf Passive House and uh, got a bunch more going on since the last time we were here. Um, the exterior is all up, the roof is on, and we're all dried in inside. We, uh, so we, we did the Duclos method where we sheed the entire building and had it entirely enclosed, no windows, no doors cut out. Uh, and then did our lower door test, which was fantastic. We got 0.19. Um, for our initial blower door, of course, there were no windows, so that's, uh, you know, who wants to live in a windowsless box? Now we've got our windows in, and uh, we'll, we're detailing the exterior. We've got our four inches of paper-faced polyisocyanurate rigid insulation going on over the zip system sheathing. The, so the four inches of polyiso are going up, then the blue uh, membrane is going up, and then the vertical rain screen battens are going up. And then the siding is going to be, is being attached to that uh, sh uh, currently. So the, we're doing our cladding on the exterior. We've got our uh, Zola windows in, they're uh, UPVC, uh, and they're, it's a lot nicer in there with some windows inside the building, That's, I'll say that. Um, our metal pans going up, uh, getting our thorough uh, WRB, our thorough exterior cladding together. This front portion here where you see the bare plywood, that is a storage area, so that doesn't need the uh, insulation. And so that's, that's why that's looking like that. We've uh, uh, got our uh, nice entry doors, all entry doors. And uh, we're just kind of going up with our exterior. Yeah, envelope. so we're, we're putting up our hardy siding. Here we have our siding. We're using a, a boral a fly ash trim and some uh, finger jointed cedar. And uh, the, we've got some really nice dug fir soffits up on the ceiling and uh, it's all, all around the building. Uh, this, the ceiling of the porch and then the soffits throughout the building are going to have some nice dug fir soffiting. Very shortly, we're going to get our deck coating down and get this front porch trimmed out and uh, get the, th then at that point we can have this front area graded out and we'll be kind of continue on with uh, the exterior uh, finishes and the landscaping.